Hi guys, uh, today I'm just going to do a very quick video on um, PHP form validation. Uh, I've actually written a post on this on the blog um, and I'll put the link in the description below. Um, but let's uh, let's dig into this. So what have I got here? I've got a very basic um, HTML form that will just post the results to this page. Um, I've got a couple of text fields, an email bot, an email input and just a text area. So let's have a look at that in the browser. Not very nice looking, but um, it'll do the job for now. So let's take a look at the actual validation. Um, and firstly, we need to check that actually something's been submitted. So we can do that by doing that and we can just test that. So submit it and then we can see it's been submitted. So let's leave that. Okay, so first up, I'm gonna create um, an errors array just to contain our errors as we go along um, and then let's start actually validating the data that's been submitted in our form so let's start with the first name and we just want to check that that's firstly not empty so if it's empty we just want to add to our errors array and alert the user to enter your first name. Else, let's say first name equals strip tags uh, first name. Cool. So that's the first name, the first name field we have down here. Surname would be exactly the same, so let's just change all these to surname. And that to surname, so enter your surname. Now email is a bit different. So if We're actually going to use filter var to check it's an actual email address, or at least in the correct format. If I can spell properly. Let's just create an error, so please enter a valid email address, otherwise email equals cool, okay, so let's just save that and our page, just make sure we don't get any errors cool, okay, so now we've created this errors array up here Obviously, we'll want to show these errors if there's any fields left empty. So up here, I am going to create just a bit of PHP to loop through that. So if we can use is set. Errors, then let's create. Uh, yeah, let's just echo. Let's echo um, just a UL. So, UL. And then for each through the errors. For each errors as error. Just echo a list item with the error. And then 
and just close the URL down here. Obviously you'd probably want to style this, but um, this should do what we want it to. Um, just save that and let's go back to our form. Just load the page. I'm not going to enter anything. And we can see here it's alerting us to enter a first name and a surname. So I'm going to go do that. Smith. And you can see those errors now disappear once they're entered. So Smith, and let's enter an email. So we could enter Dan, blah, blah, blah. And it's actually telling us to enter a valid email. So Dan at site.com. There we go. So then our, our form um, has submitted. So what we can actually do then is just check that the errors array is empty. And then if it is, this is the code we do to um, process our form, whether that's send an email or upload to a database, whatever. Um, so yeah, that's that's pretty much a very simple um, tutorial, just just showing you how easy it is to to validate user input, and you most definitely should validate user input. Um, like I said, just assume every visitor to your site is is going to hack you. Um, so yeah, I hope this helps. Uh, if you have any questions, drop them into the comments below.